This is the moment the world waited for. How many of you? Brilliant. Divers reaching the Wild Boar's soccer team and their coach trapped in a North Thailand cave in 2018. The young boy who spoke up, Adun Simone. How often do you think about that experience now, five years later? I don't think I think of it like quite often, but uh, it, it, sometimes it just, you know, it just comes into your mind, you know, out of nowhere, and then um, makes me realize that, oh, you know, this is my, this is part of my story. What made it so brutal? It's very hard for a young teenager, right, who was only 14 years old to have that um, experiment. We were like trapped in like in a small um, cave or space, and then we couldn't do anything. We couldn't we couldn't see a light or we couldn't hear anything. Deep underground, the boys' survival skills kicked in. Life or death meant staying calm. Oh, when I was. Uh, feeling really depressed and hopeless, right? When I just be quiet and then think, up, think about some good things, good memories, it just um, give me the energy and the power to, okay, you know, I, I still got it, like that kind of like feeling. No stranger to challenges, Adun was born into poverty in Myanmar. His parents sent him to a church school in Thailand. Being the oldest of six in his own family never left him, and Adun says he assumed that role in the crisis. Did you act like the oldest sibling in the cave? I, I needed to, you know, try to comfort, right? Like, you know, it's just gonna be okay, right? We have each other, we have a coach, so don't worry. Hope arrived 10 days in. What was it like to see those divers? We became alive again. It would take eight more days to get them out. What did it give you? Basically, a new life, a life that I cannot imagine. Even I try so hard, I don't think, you know, I, I will have this life, you know, like right now. One person taken by a dune story, headmaster Laura Danforth at the master's school outside New York City. I knew I wanted to hear his resilience and his the way he looked at the world and his mindfulness. In 2020, she welcomed Adun to the school and introduced him to his American host family, the Steins, including Ian. Everything you can get from a sibling, I, I never had. Then here came my brother from Thailand. He joined his American brother as a sophomore, where he excelled in team sports like volleyball and soccer, eagerly embracing life in America. He feels as though his higher power has put all of these obstacles in his way to test him, and he's doing just fine on that test. He doesn't say he's acing it. Yeah, he's acing it. Adun is now a freshman at Middlebury College in Vermont. I'm really, really, um, you know, drawn to studying medicine at medical school, but um, I haven't decided my major yet, and I'm just still exploring, basically. Even as he embraces life at this quintessential New England campus, there are mementos of home in his dorm room. So that's just um, my indigenous costume. Is this from Myanmar? From Myanmar, yeah. yeah. I just, you know, I wanted to have, like, that feeling, you know, with the closeness with my, um, community back in Myanmar. And on his feet. Do you wear sandals all year round? Uh, yeah, pretty much, you know, every season, I would say. Yeah. 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 We don't have boots, and, you know, we yeah. don't wear boots at all. But it is what's in his heart that is a dune strength. Do you think of your life as a miracle? Yeah, I think so. You know, um, everything is, you know, not just my life, but I think everything, you know, surrounds us is miracle. Wow. I, that outlook is, is still so just shocking to me how it's, beautiful that is. And he's a teenager. He's a uh, kid. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine? They spent 18 days in the dark, 18 days yeah. not knowing if they were going to get out. And this is what he comes out to. Well, his it's life was difficult before he set yeah. foot in yes. the cave yeah. and had to learn English to come here. It's incredible. That's incredible. What, by the way, anyway, what happened to the other survivors? Well, they all just got together this summer oh. in Thailand. It was the 50th year anniversary and we have oh. a picture you can oh, wow. see a dune he's on the edge he's got the really curly oh, yeah, hair yeah, um, and that's their coach in the front yeah. who helped keep them calm 
during that time, but they stay connected. Social media has sure. been wonderful to keep them all connected, and it's very much part of a dune's life. Imagine if we saw every obstacle as like something that was meant to be there, something we were meant to overcome yes. instead of how, why is this happening to me? Right, and I think that's what Headmaster Danforth said. That's how he looks yeah. at it. All these obstacles have been placed for him to overcome and to make the world a better oh, place. Wow. He's remarkable. I can yeah. tell. I'm a great doctor. It's good yeah. to yeah. talk to you. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.